I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. We just read about the tribulation and poverty that we're in. This Christ is speaking to us right here, but watch this. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So he's like, you know, those people in Israel, they're the synagogue of Satan. So back in the time of the Romans, they were already trying to replace us. You understand that? So you got to think about it. If they're replacing us and, and got everybody thinking that they're God's chosen people, who controls the music industry? Who controls our images right now? You understand? They control our imagery. Right. So it's their job to keep us at the bottom. Those same people set up our churches. Because if we ever got back to our true nationality and started keeping God's commandments, that's going to be the end of them. Church, or you're not a member. I'm not a member. Okay, all right, that's cool. Heard, okay, all praises. That's good. So the reason why we're out here is because, like what uh, Officer was bringing out uh, earlier, he was letting you know that if we didn't keep the commandments, that would keep us at the bottom, right? Right. Yeah, so, so now, in the church, they're not keeping the commandments. Who set up the churches for us? Who set up? The ca Caucasian. So now he just read in the scriptures that they're our enemy. So now you got to think about this. If they're our enemies, and they know if we go back to keeping the commandments, that we're going to be back on top. Why do you think there was so much resistance when uh, Kanye West came out and said we the Israelites? Or who else said it? Nick Cannon, Kyrie Irving, they all came out and said that because they don't want you to know that. So we got a group of people now that's under attack in Israel. Who are those people, according to the Bible? Uh, the Jewish people. They, they, they say they're the Jews, right? So let's see what the Bible says. Revelation? Yeah, Revelation 2 and 9. Let's see. Revelation 2, verse 9. Read it out. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. We just read about the tribulation and poverty that we're in. This Christ is speaking to us right here, but watch this. But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So he's like, you know, those people in Israel, they're the synagogue of Satan. That's so right. back in the time of the Romans, they were already trying to replace us. You understand that? So you got to think about it. If they're replacing us and, and got everybody thinking that they're God's chosen people, who controls the music industry? Who controls our images right now? You understand? They control our imagery. Right. So it's their job to keep us at the bottom. Those same people set up our churches. Because if we ever got back to our true nationality and started keeping God's commandments, that's going to be the end of them. So now, in the church earlier, we were listening to the sermon, and they were quoting a scripture that was in, because he just read to you. Uh, did you get Luke 1 and 68? Did you get that? Yes, sir. You got that. So let's read it one more time, because I'm going to show you what salvation means in the Bible. And, I, and this is going to explain to you why they don't want us to know who we are. This is Luke 1, verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. So the Bible is telling you he's only going to redeem his people, not all people. We're going to prove it. Read. And hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, Watch this. that we should be saved from our enemies. So it says we're going to be saved from our enemies. The same enemies we were sold to when we came off the slave ship. Read. And from the hand of all that hate us. Because they truly hate us. So now watch this right here. Where's the Masalim 18 and 7? So watch this right here. Watch what God says about us being saved. Because in the church they say, if you come up to the front after the service is over, and you come see the pastor, he get the oil on his hand, and he hits you over the head. <laughs> Take you down to the ground, you saved. Right? That's what they say. You're seeing that foolishness up in the church, right? So let's see what the Bible says. Wisdom of Solomon 18, verse 7. Bring it up! So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. So those that come back to keeping the commandments. And destruction of the enemies. You see that? So when God, when Christ comes back, it's going to be, he's going to rescue the righteous deliver the righteous and he's going to destroy the enemy. So That's say, right. Moses, let's get Moses. He's going to say the same thing. Let's go to Exodus uh, 14 to 13. Watch this right here. So now we're dealing with salvation. So the Bible defines salvation. So watch this right here. Exodus 14 verse 13. Bring it up. And Moses said unto the people, fear ye not, 
stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. So we dealing with salvation, right? Because in the church, they say, if you come up front, the pastor anoints your head and throw you down on the ground, you say, but let's see what the Bible says. Which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. You see that? So God is going to destroy this nation and deliver his people. He's not saving everybody. That's right. That's what they teach in the church, that God is coming back to save everybody. Right. The Bible clearly says he's coming back for the nation of Israel. And I'm going to just write more because just like we read uh, the, the people that sent Israel right now, those are not the Jews according to the Bible. You agree with that, right? right? So let's go into the Bible and find out who they are because the Bible says who they are. Go to um, Ezekiel 36 and 5. So let's get that. So now I'm going to show you full circle the destruction of those people over there and these people over here in America. Watch this. Ezekiel 36 verse 5. Bring it up. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. So we dealing with the heathen. Watch this right here, read. And against all Idumia. So the Idumians are a branch of Esau. Those are Edomites. So against all Idumia, watch this. Which have appointed my land into their possession. So it's letting you know that the people that's in Israel now are the, my mom, my mom, I'm sorry, my are the Idumians. Okay, one last scripture. I got to get this for you. Isaiah 34. So this is the destruction. Watch this. One last scripture right here. Isaiah 34 and 4. Let's get right to the point. This is the return of Christ. Isaiah 34 verse 4. Bring it up. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. Watch this. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from the vine. Watch this. And the falling fig from the fig tree. Keep For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Watch here it is right here. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. God got a judgment for the so-called Caucasian man. That's really That's crazy, right. brother. And we just proved that. Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.